Okay guys, welcome back to a new video in the Shotcut series where I'm going to be showing you and teaching you tricks and tips to improve your editing skills using Shotcut. But today I'm going to be teaching you how you guys can export a video in Shotcut using the best settings and saving it onto your computer. Now if you're new here, consider subscribing because I do make tutorial videos like this one along with other different tutorial videos to help you grow on YouTube. Now I am on my way to a thousand subscribers and any help is appreciated, but with that said, let's get on to the video. So as you can see, we're here in Shotcut and I have made this little video sequence. And the last step is actually exporting the video, or in this case, the video that you guys have made. Okay guys, so in order to export the video, you can actually come up here to export or go to file and export video. Now this little presets and menu already dropped down and as you can see we have all our presets right here. So basically this is our stock presets in order to export the video. But if we come down here we can see that if you only want to export the audio we have the presets here to only export audio. But today we're just going to focus on exporting the whole video. So what I recommend when you guys are exporting your video in Shotcut is actually using the H.264 height profile or using the YouTube presets if you're going to upload a video on YouTube. But I always recommend and always use the H.264 height profile. So we're just going to select that and then we're just going to come here to this little window and hit advanced. And then here we can actually modify or adjust our settings to the actual video export. So the first thing you want to do is come here to from and we're just going to hit timeline in order to export the whole timeline as it is. The format we're just going to keep it at mp4 since it's the most compatible either in post editing or uploading it online. So right now we're in the video tab and our resolution is 1920 by 1080 which translates to 1080p on YouTube. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9 frames per second you can actually move and I'm just going to put it at 299.7. Uh, the scan mode is we're just going to leave it at progressive. The field order doesn't matter since our scan mode is at progressive. The interlace we're just going to leave at default. Interpolation just we're just going to leave it at default. And we're just going to leave it at parallel processing. And most of these settings are actually going to be on default. But if you guys want to modify them, that's up to you guys. Now after that, we're just going to go to the codec tab. We're just going to leave the codec at how it is right now. Default. Our rate control, we're just going to make sure it's at VBR, quality based VBR. Our quality, now our quality is going to play a big factor when we're exporting our video. Now the higher the quality of the video, obviously will give us better quality in our video, but will also give us a larger file size and longer export time. So what I always recommend to do is doing either to 70 to 100% quality, but for now I'm just going to put it at 85 since I've seen that works the best for me, but you guys basically have to test it out to see what gives you the best results. And then the rest, we can just leave it at default since it matches the source settings of your project. Now we're going to our audio tab and for our channels, we're gonna leave it at two stereo. Our sample rate is gonna be at 48,000, which is the recommended. The codec, we're just gonna leave at AAC. The rate control is average bit rate and our bit rate is gonna be 256K. And that is basically it. And remember you guys can pause throughout the video in case you guys want to catch up or match these settings which I recommend you guys do. So now that we got all our settings done and ready, all we have to do is just come here to the export file button and just click on it. And then our photo should appear and we're just going to rename it. I'm just going to rename test video and hit save. Now you guys can save it in whatever folder that you guys save it on. But as you can see here in the jobs window, you can see that the video is actually starting to process and we're just going to wait for the video to actually end and I will show you guys the end result. But that's basically how you pretty much export a video in Shotcut using the best settings. Okay guys, so as you can see, if we go up here to the jobs window, the video is finally done processing and exporting and all we have to do is just see the end result of the video. Okay guys, so the clip that you're actually watching right now is the end result and I just put a voice over because it was that good to use for my outro. But yeah guys, that's basically how you export a video from a shotcut and save it onto your computer. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like these and I'll see you on the next one.